Hello there, welcome to this video uh, on area and arc length of sectors, uh, just looking at a few exam style questions. So example one, a uh, diagram shows a sector of a circle, center O, the radius of the circle is 13 centimeters, the angle of a sector is 150 degrees. Calculate the area of the sector, give your answer to correct to three significant figures. Um, notice the diagram is not drawn accurately, so we can't measure anything to try and help us out. So. The way that I'd consider doing this is imagine that you're doing a circle with radius, a full circle with radius 13 centimeters and consider what would the area of that circle be? Well, the area of that circle would be pi r squared. So it's pi times 13 squared, uh, which is 169 times pi. Now, that's what the area of this circle would be. Now what we've actually got is we've got a fraction of that circle. So we've got a fraction um, of that circle given here. Now the way that we work out the fraction is well there's 360 degrees in a full circle. So what we've got is the fraction 150 over 360. So that's the fraction of the full circle that we've got. So all I need to do is find that fraction of this amount. So the calculation we're going to be doing is 150 over 360 times by 169 times pi. And on your calculator, that will give you something like that. So all we need to do now is answer our um, question correct to three significant figures. So one, two, third digit is in the units column. So we round that to the nearest whole unit. So it's 221 centimeters squared. So example two. The diagram shows a sector of a circle, center O, radius 10 centimeters. The arc length of the sector is 15 centimeters. Calculate the area of the sector. So we're told that the arc length of the sector is 15 centimeters. Now we can use that to work out what fraction of the circle we've got because we consider the full circumference, the circumference of a circle with radius 10 is pi times 20, so it's the diameter. So that's the circumference. Now we've got this fraction of that circle. So the fraction of the circle we've got this time is 15 over 20 times pi. Or if you like, we've got 3 quarters Sorry, 3 over 4 pi. The area of the full circle would be pi times um, 10 squared. And we've got this fraction of that circle. So we've got to times that by 3 over 4 pi. So if you put that in your calculator, you will get 75 0.002 and so on. Um, it doesn't state an accuracy here. So generally, if it doesn't say, we do three significant figures. So let's go for 75.0 centimeters squared. Example three then. So the diagram shows a sector of a circle, uh, center O. The radius of the circle is six centimeters. Angle AOB is 120 degrees. Um, work out the perimeter of the sector. Now this one, it wants the answer in terms of pi. So may come up in a, a non-calculated paper where we wouldn't have access to pi accurately. So we leave our answer in terms of pi at the end. So we're trying to work out this arc length to start with. So we've got the fraction of the circle is 120 over 360. So that's the fraction we've got, which is a third if we simplify that. Now, if we had the circumference of the full circle, so if it was the full circle, the circumference would be um, uh, 12 times pi. So that would be the circumference of a full circle. So we want a third of that to work out the arc length. So let's just write this down. So the arc length, so that's AB, is equal to a third of the circumference. So a third times 12 times pi, which is 4 pi. Now, that's the arc length. This is the perimeter. So we've got to say it's that distance plus this distance plus this distance. So the perimeter is simply 4 pi plus 
12. And there's your answer. Okay, well, I hope that's helped.